So here I have it hooked up, not just to the power, but also this is just a little mini USB cable going to the computer. And I hope this comes out okay if you look at the computer screen. Go down here, go up to, uh, this is XP. Your mileage may vary, but uh, shows up. Here is the Kingston 2 gig drive. If I open that up, it's just a series of folders. Um, and if you look in a folder, it's a bunch of JPEG files that are all, all the pictures. Uh, the reason I put a bunch of folders, well, one was convenience, uh, the other is that I found some kind of limit, I forget what it was now, but it was after about 256 pictures or so in a folder, it would uh, neglect the rest. So just for numbers issues, I have like folder one, folder two, scan one, scan two, all that other stuff. And then I got to the place where, um, you know, here's one. It's just the, right out of my my documents. It's just like my, Christmas of uh, 2010, you know. And instead of doing all the worry and cropping and everything else, I organize them in my photos by events and things like that. And then I just I have one big file that's like the photo frame. And all the ones I want on there, I just throw them on there. You copy them from folder, you know, from a folder here to folder there, just like anything else. So that's what ends up down here. It goes into this mode when you have the USB cable. If you unplug that, uh, it goes back into the, let's just pick a random order and start displaying photos. So pretty easy, pretty flexible, takes lots of different kind of memory cards. Uh, as you can see, it's also doing the height or width uh, expansion of the JPEG to make it full screen. And, um, you know, you, you probably there's a lot of different kinds of these, I'm sure, and they'll all have some height by width resolution. You could size the photos to match that perfectly if you don't want any black stuff on the top or bottom, like this one, for instance. Um, but, you know, I just kind of cut them up, you crop them the way I like them, and um, let it do its thing, and it works really well. Uh, by the way, it also plays videos, so you can have um, uh, moving action in here if you, if you were to choose. So there it is, not that big, here's my hand, it's, uh, I don't know, what is that, eight inches, five, five by eight maybe, something like that. They had bigger ones, smaller ones, this is about right. And like I said, the thing I really love about it is it's standalone. Once you get your files on there, then you just put it on the mantelpiece or a coffee table, turn it on, let it go. Uh, let's see, I'll try to show you the uh, scanning procedure I use.